Hey ladies and gentlemen, how are you going? My name is Zach Wattis and welcome to a brand new video. So, I have a bit of a story to tell you, okay? So this morning I was at work from 9 o'clock till 1 o'clock, alright? A few hours down the track I'm doing my job, I'm doing, you know, what I'm meant to be doing, putting trolleys away, greeting the customers, taking the trolleys out, being a good guy, you know, a good employee, and a friendly person in general. Get to maybe about 12.30 or so, half an hour, before I'm about to finish, okay? So I have a, you know, a load of trolleys on the way to, I'm on my way back to the store. An elderly lady stops me. Hello, sir, how are you going? I said, good, thank you, how are you? And then she turned into Satan. She turned into the biggest bitch I've ever experienced in my lifetime. She looked at my arm and said, son, your tattoos are awful. You do realize that they make you evil. Just seeing those makes me sick. And in my head, I'm just like, Oh yeah, fucking yeah. And I can tell she wanted to stay there for God knows how long. She wanted to stay there and dig at me. She wanted to, she just wanted to eat me alive. She wanted to verbally fuck me up <laughs> because I had tattoos. Now, if you don't like tattoos, fine. Don't get them. Leave everyone else alone. I wanted to sit there and tell her what all of these meant. And she would have been like, oh, and then she would have fucked off out of my life. But since it was busy, it was a busy day today, man, I tell you, I had no time to stick around and stick with bitches, no. Nah. So after she said all that, and after my mind had calmed down a bit, I was this close. I don't know if you guys can see that, let me show you. I was this fucking close to letting her have it. So I'll quickly go through what my tattoos mean, okay? And you guys can judge me yourselves. This first one here. I don't know if I can take pictures or something. Whatever. This one here. You guys can probably see it straight away. Let me see if I can get a focus in on it. This one here. There you go. Skulls and flames. Skulls and flames. The reason why I have that one. It was my 18th birthday. You know, here in Australia, once you hit 18, you can smoke. You can drink alcohol. You can have tattoos and all that adult shit. I was spent ages looking through on Google. <laughs> Google was where I got it, yes. I was 18 at the time, and I was like, that one's cool, getting it. End of story. Now the next three that I have, have all meaning, okay? This one, a diamond on an anchor. Um, it's actually right here, it's on this shirt. I don't know if you can see it right there. Excuse me, Florence, what are you doing? Right there, on these beanie. He has a clothing line, and that is simply his logo. It pretty much means, Keeping your diamonds anchored to the ground. Your diamonds can be whatever the fuck you want. Friends, family, your cat, your pet, your dog, your goldfish, your turtle, your car, your money. You know, anything that are your diamonds in your life. In my case, mostly family and my girlfriend. I don't have many friends, <laughs> to be honest. So really, it's basically all my family. Keeping them close to you and, you know, not letting them fly away. Drift apart, whatever. This next one right here. A good old shark. Now that one as well, if you guys have stuck around, once again, I think I've mentioned it a couple times, I might not have. I'm obsessed with the ocean. There's something about it that's so fascinating. And it's also my number one fear. Sharks. Sharks, sharks, sharks. They're my number one fear. I love them. I can't stop watching documentaries. My girlfriend bought me a whole collection of shark documentaries for Christmas and I've I think I pretty much finished it. <laughs> Something about sharks, the way they look, the way they act, they behave, everything. I love it so much. And finally, I won't be able to show you guys. I'll probably insert a picture here that I took off Instagram or something. You guys should probably know by now, Michael Jackson. I love this homie to death. I love this boy. This guy is amazing. Growing up, he terrified me. My parents and my grandparents used to make fun of me. They used to play a video of him. I can't exactly remember what it was, but there was a video of him and they play it on TV, and I would I was probably like five, four, maybe even a bit older or younger, I'm not too sure. I would run into the room, scream like a little girl, and run out. He scared the shit out of me. About nine or eight years ago, I started listening to his music. I have no idea how I came across it. I have no idea. I really don't. Till now, I love him. I adore him. I, you know, all his music, his dancing, his outlook on life, his mindset, his mentality is so good. Uh, despite all the rumors and everything you guys believe, what you want to believe, I'll believe what I want to believe. Regardless of what he did or did not do, he's a fantastic entertainer and yeah, I, I don't know. 
I have no idea why I made this video. I just thought I should because I'm angry at the old lady. I wanted to pick up her walking stick and whack her across the face. Actually, that wouldn't work because if I took her walking stick, she'd topple over. <laughs> just pictured it in my head. Oh, maybe I'm a bad person. Maybe I'm a bad person. I'm not though. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching this video. It's quite a random video. I didn't really decide to make it until like 10 minutes ago. So yeah, let me know what you think. If you have tattoos, let me know what you have. Even if you don't, even if you have plans in the future, let me know what you're thinking of getting. Anyway, thank you very much. I'll see everyone in the next video. Catch up. That's my goodbye thing.